and let's be honest, no one's going to touch that. No. On the ice, representing Russia, Victoria Sinitsina, Nikita Katsanapov. So a medal and a ticket to the Grand Prix final on the line for the next team from Russia, and they're in great position for both after the rhythm dance. Here is Victoria Sinitsina and Nikita Katsalapov. Fifth season on the Grand Prix in second place after the rhythm dance. Mitsina and Katsalapov from Russia, the silver medalists at Skate Canada.
Their best in this free dance this season has been over 120 oh. points. And Ben, following the French couple, not an easy task. That, that is a big ask, big shoes to fill. A lot of energy from the crowd after the French, and then it immediately turns into a vacuum when they take the ice. That's a tough place to be, but wow, did they step up and deliver. I'm so proud of how they're developing this season and keeping their heads on straight, keeping everything in check, I think that this is the best free dance that they've had so far. And they do a beautiful job. I think they're the most dynamic couple in this whole event. They really do an amazing job of punctuating the slow, plotty rhythm, especially the first section of this free dance, with these spectacular highlights that whip into position and rotate so quickly and then go back into the slow rhythm. So starting off strong with really nice execution of this twizzle sequence maybe a little far apart at the beginning but unison right on and then up and over toss her around catch beautiful lines and doing a good job of getting their turns called for the most part but this stationary lift just so much whip into the beginning of it so exciting he gets on one foot not necessary he has to be down but he doesn't have to be on one foot but it just looks so much better in the past these two have skated with that same abandon but i think as you mentioned that punctuation without those moments of subsequent control mm -hmm. to really emphasize and highlight the sort of artistic recklessness that they have in those moments and it really comes together much more seamlessly in contrast in this program and in the past that abandon has not served them well because it's resulted in mistakes they go for it they whip into it and then oh they can't hold on to it and, and there's some mistake made so finally finding that rhythm with great result. In order to qualify to the final, they need at least a silver, and that means over 110 points. And there's no problem beating that score from the Canadians, Piper Gillis, Paul Poirier. It's a 122.47 for Sinitsina and Katsalapov. It's season's best means they are into the Grand Prix final. So mission accomplished for the Russians. Of course, as we mentioned earlier, Papadakis and Cicero, despite the incredible lead at this competition, with this being their only Grand Prix event this season, they cannot go to the final. So Papadakis and Cicero add another gold to their collection. Sinitsina Katsalapov with another silver medal on this Grand Prix series. Gillis and Poirier matching their previous Grand Prix result this year with another bronze. As we take a look at the qualifiers to the Grand Prix Final in the ice dance competition, Hubble and Donahue from the United States, the top American qualifiers, lead the way. Hawaii and Baker also in that mix. So as we wrap up our coverage, a reminder, you can watch the ISU Grand Prix Series live, commercial free, and on demand with the NBC Sports Gold Figure Skating Pass. Follow every Grand Prix stop, championship events, and more. Learn more at NBCSportsGold.com. For Ben Augusto, I'm Tanith White. So long from Grand Prix France.